He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. We commend unto thy hands of mercy, most merciful Father. The soul of our sister departed, and we commit her body to the ground. Earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Why kill my Mary and stick her here in this cold, god-awful place? <laughs> These are the legal requirements for the epidemic, Mary. Oh, Avery, I feel so tired. Please take me home. Yes, madam. <laughs> This is a nightmare. Jonathan, there is nothing you can do but accept it. What brings you here? I thought you could use the company. I am so sorry for your loss, Jonathan. She was a good person, vibrant, full of life. She was kindness incarnate, my Mary. You're a good person, Jonathan, and a young Ekon, a newborn cast into the night without so much as a candle to guide your way. She had been scouring the most dangerous parts of London in search of me, and it led to her death. Jonathan, don't. I still hear her last thoughts. They echo in my head. Her mind shattered and... and it haunts me. Jonathan, stop. Listen carefully. You must come to terms with this. You must learn to live with what happened. I'm learning. Every night is a new lesson. What I am, what I must do to survive. But my sister, she shouldn't have suffered because of my weakness. Don't you see? You're doing the work of our enemies, feeding your remorse. We are weakest when we grieve, and the guilt blurs our senses. And so this is why you're here, to warn me. You felt this pain yourself. You too have endured this. I don't want to lose you, Jonathan. I've lost so many friends. Loved ones I cherished. Pray for Mary's forgiveness, if you must. Thank you, my lady. I will. Good. But be careful. If I found you here, others may too. What should I do then? St. Mary's Church is not far from here. Go there and make your peace. Find the solace you need. My lady wants me to confess. No, Jonathan. It's you who wants to confess, I think. 